Hello everyone, I'm back with a small, small fall and Halloween haul. Look at all these goodies I got. It's so cute. Everything is from Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Target, and uh, Bath and Body. No, not Bath and Body Works. I'm sorry, Bed Bath and Beyond. So used to go into Bed Bath and Be Bed Bath Body Works. Um, these things I got are just so adorable. I'm going to start with the pillows first. Look at this color. It is so, so adorable. It is this nice tan pillow. Um, They came in a two-pack from Walmart, of course. And this one is, I just love. If anyone is out there is doing like a cream uh, fall design or fall decor, this pillow is so nice to get. Um, it would be like five bucks because they both were ten ninety seven in the pack from Walmart. I just got these. Um, this suede material I'm in love with. And it's like this knitting here. It's a suede knitting. And you know, the velvet thing is in for fall. And I love it. Look at this detailing. It's so, so nice. I am in love on it. It's so adorable. In love with it. <laughs> um, I have this one. It's so cute because that this truck motif is in, in style for this fall. It's like in the end thing to have that pumpkin patch truck. Um, I got this from Walmart, of course. So I said both are um ten ninety seven for both in the pack. Um this one, you know, it had look at this. Open daily pumpkins, apples, pies, since Farmer Press nineteen fifty six. I love it. Uh I I've always loved this fox plaid. My mom used to do a few fox plaid things for, you know, Christmas season and Thanksgiving, but she would have the orange for Thanksgiving and the red. I didn't do all traditional colors for my fall home decor. And I did black and gray. You know, my husband, you know, he loves this fox plaid design. Gray it was one of his favorite colors. So I tried to incorporate his personal style and what he likes into, you know, what I like. So we both, you know, it, it just evened out so well. And, you know, he has good taste. So <laughs> um, some of these other things I got are from Dollar Tree. Now, look at this. These are so cute. If you're going to like a place like Hobby Lobby or Michael's, you know, you could get like a bag of these, but they're gonna like probably like six bucks if they're on sale, seven. But you know, these were a dollar. So I picked up two of these. And I'm just gonna probably put these in a vase and put it around like, you know, one of my um, tables or tear trays or something like that. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put it over there where I keep my um, my mugs and um, my Keurig, like my little mini coffee bar counter area. And, uh, yeah, possibly put some of these inside of a clear vase. Um, I have a really tall one in my um, hallway on my, you know, my wooden bench. So, I might add these to it. I just put, like, a bunch of pumpkins and, like, little, you know, um, fall leaves. And, you know, like, the little fall balls things you have. Like, the little wicker balls and, you know, decor. So cute. And I love them. Um, I actually got a few of these garlands. Look at these. Now, this is a traditional Halloween. I don't know what it is. The Black Cat. Oh, my God. This is so adorable. It just says Happy Halloween. Um, My husband wanted to get two because, you know, we're big people for Halloween. We're big people for fall. We love it. We love Halloween, especially. Um, I'm going to put one of these in the um, hallway and in the living room because we always have, like, a little annual Halloween party. Find a few people over, watch some movies, eat talk, laugh, play spooky games, watch spooky stories, all that. <laughs> so cute. And of course we have this other garland with the um, skeleton. It is so cute, right? Like you have a white and black one. So spooky. And I think they might go in the dark. I think so. Um, I don't know. I have to ask my husband. Did these go in the dark? No. Uh, he says no. He said they don't go in the dark, so... You know, boo on that. But, you know, I thought they did. <laughs> but it's so cute. And we have this little skull head. My husband actually brought this when he went and picked it up. He thought I would like it. Look at the little mouth. It's so cute, right? It actually lights up. But the when we bought this, it did not. But um, my husband's going to put batteries in it. And we'll be able to use it just in time for Halloween. But it, it this one actually is so cute. It can be out any time of the year. I mean, look at this. Look at this beautiful color. Like this magenta purple. I mean, this could be like a motif in like a beauty room or, you know, it maybe if you have like a room where you keep your games, the anime room, something like that, or your den. I think it's so cute, especially if you are that type that likes skull motifs and designs. You can keep that out year round because I definitely am. It's so cute. 
Um, this other thing here my mother-in-law got for me. Um, she got this from Bed Bath & Beyond. I love it. It reminds me of one my late mom had because my mother had one of these. Hers was a lot bigger than this one. But I don't, you know, cook like pies and traditional kettle cooked dishes. But So I'm going to start. Okay, I'm going to start. Um, it's so cute. It's from Stab, like I said. It is a little, it's not pricey. I think it's, I don't know. I would have to ask her, but it was a gift. But I looked online because I actually wanted this one and she went and got it for me. So I, th I think it's like around 35 bucks. I believe it's what it was. I just got this. So it is so, so nice. She brought it to me. I was like, oh, my God. Thank you so much. And I was like, I'm thinking about getting it. But she had already had it, so I'm glad I didn't do it. Because I had mentioned her I wanted one because my mom had one in the past. So I'm starting with a small one. I'll go bigger, you know, later on when I start cooking more, like, dishes that, you know, require that. Um, This is all. This is from Dollar Tree. Again, the spiders. Look how cute. They look how gorgeous their backs are. Look at this. They also look realistic. My sister's going to freak out when she sees these. My husband likes to freak out my sister, me, and his mom with these spiders. His mom actually, you know, she's good with it. But, you know, me, oh, my God. Um, I hate bugs of any kind. Okay, if you know this on this channel, I am not a bug fan. But I am a fan of the ones that don't move, the fake ones. <laughs> so, I have some spider webs that I had got uh, earlier, uh, like, in late August from Five Below when they put their Halloween stuff out. And the spider webs are only about a dollar two dollars. They still have them if you want. Five below a dollar. Five below has great stuff online. I prefer online because of the pandemic, you know. So that's what I would like to do that right now. Um, I got them. I'm gonna put them on the back door, on the front door, and I'm gonna add three spiders each, just to not have it so bulky, but have them spread out like you know, like a real spider web would be. Cause spiders can make a huge web by themselves, and this is so cute. This is only a dollar. Um, and the last thing from Dollar Tree. Uh, my husband grabbed these when he went there the other day. Uh, we like to make little designs with them, like little uh, pumpkins or something. We probably use these. Who can make the best pumpkin? Like as a pumpkin creating game for a Halloween party. It'd be so nice. Um, you have 45 pieces. And then you can keep these for Thanksgiving, you know. Uh, you can put these on your tree for Christmas. Make little stars for it for um, New Year's or, you know, you can do anything you want to do with these. these look, the sky's the limit with pipe cleaners. I used to use these. You know I used to use these in school to make things with. You know, if you have young, smaller kids, you can make pumpkins with it or make little creations with it. It is just whatever. It's so adorable. So cute to put them around furniture or like put them on a dish or like a serving tray. It'd be so nice to do that. Now this stuff I got from Target. Uh, the Hide and Eat selection. I wanted this stuff since early August. And I actually, I think I looked in late July. Actually, I was so excited and thirsty. Yes, thirsty because your girl loves fall, okay? So, I have this um, white pumpkin. It's so cute. I wanted the green one and the orange one, but they were sold out. By the time I went back, I was like, oh, no. But this is just as good. And check this out. Look at that. How spooky is that? You know, you wake up in the middle of the night and you see that, you're like, okay. Um, <laughs> something's got to give, okay? So, I was, I was telling my husband, I said, let's have this on at night. He's like, oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> he's like, no, no way. And he's like, you get up and be spooky to see it right there. And my husband wears glasses, so without his glasses, he's as blind as a bat. He's going to be, like, bumping into stuff. But this might help him. <laughs> uh, so cute. I love it. I love it. And uh, it's so nice to have. And I think, like, you know, with a Halloween party, you can put it up. If you have a Halloween party or you have a back porch or your front porch, you can probably get two of these and sit these on there. They have them a little bit bigger. This was $15, I believe. Yeah, like $12 or $15. I put in the description, it was like $15, I think. But I think it's worth it. It'll last you a long time. And it's pretty big, you know, instead of, like, you know, doing it. You know, if you don't want to spend time doing a jack and lantern unless you have kids, you like to do that. So I think it's just so nice have uh the last two things i have is this how cute i bought this and i was like oh let me grab it before it gets sold out because everything from the hide and eat line is, is basically sold out i don't know if they restocked but i just got this like a few weeks ago i got my mother in law mother in law one and i one of these it's so so nice just look at the detailing look at that cute little face it kind of looks like a animal crossing character right 
My husband's like, is that Animal Crossing? I'm like, no, this is a Target High to Eat. You can put cookies in it, of course. So nice. And look at that little skeleton at the top. Isn't that cute? So cute. You'll want to have this for a long time. I love it. And one other thing that we have is I have this cute little witch. This little witch is so, so cute. It's a little sweet witch right here. And when you squeeze it, isn't this adorable? This is so cute. She makes a little baby laugh. And it's so funny, a joke about this is that my my dog, he loves hearing it. He's like, oh, baby, baby. He's actually jumping up right now. He's like, oh, look at this. Oh, my God. And like, he wants to come around and see it. Like He's like, mommy, is there a baby in here? I'm like, no, sweetie, it's not. <laughs> it's so cute. And he do it again. This is 525. It is a little small, but for the detailing on it and for the way it sounds and the quality, I think it, it should keep this for a very long time. And I feel like it's definitely worth it to have. It is so cute. But that is the end of my little mini haul. I'm going to have more to come, of course. And um, just to show my living room, how I decorate my living room and my bedroom for fall and a few other motifs around the house. So thank you so much, you guys. And I'll be seeing you soon. Happy fall.